Hello, this is Kathleen of American College Strategies. I'd like to welcome you to the campus of Lewis and Clark. I am touring here on a very wet mid-March day. Beautiful campus on about 137 acres, and I'm about six miles from downtown Portland, so students really get a wonderful sense of city close by, but in a quite rural location. Here is a true liberal arts experience. Lewis and Clark University, with their 2,200 students, also has a graduate component. Just on the other side of campus is their School of Education and Counseling and their School of Law, but those two schools really do not interact with the students in their undergraduate education. My tour guide and our admissions officer did a wonderful job of really helping us to understand the importance of a liberal arts education. And I want to stress that about Lewis and Clark. A liberal arts education is really about the breadth and the depth of a subject. Many students come in here undeclared. They're still searching what they want to do with their studies and with their careers. You get to take courses across the breadth of curriculum, whether it's the arts or the sciences or the maths or the human sciences or the social sciences, but also you get to go really in depth on a subject. The other component of a liberal arts education is it's writing intensive, it's reading intensive, and it's public speaking intensive. In fact, here at Lewis and Clark, all students take two semester long classes. You are taught as all classes by a professor and it is very reading, writing and public speaking intensive. It is three books that are read and discussed and those three books are the same three books that are read for every freshman coming on the campus and that gives you an opportunity to have discussions all throughout the 2200 student body about the subject matter and seeing something through a different lens. The second semester that you are required to make has the professor choosing exactly what he wants to teach. So while it's reading, writing, and public speaking intensive, if you have a bio professor, the class has a different flavor than if you have a history professor. So that is something really wonderful about a liberal arts education. Here at Lewis and Clark, all students must take some kind of international component. It can be taken here on campus, but about 60% of the students go overseas for at least a semester. It is done through Lewis and Clark. You can take a language intensive course where you're actually enrolled in a university in another country studying in that language. Or you could take a course that is Lewis and Clark students led by a Lewis and Clark professor going internationally. One of the people I spoke to today had a semester in New Zealand. They spent a whole semester there on the two islands of New Zealand with a biology professor from here studying about spiders and also studying about the culture of New Zealand. And the interesting thing that she said is taking that course helped her to overcome her real fear of spiders. So there is a real big emphasis on international studies. And remember, when you talk about the breadth and the depth, you're getting experiences from every different subject matter. Additionally, here at Lewis and Clark, a big component of their student body are not only international students, but American students that have grown up internationally and coming back here to study. They are a Division three school, and they do offer scholarships, both merit scholarships, talent scholarships, athletic scholarships, as well as need-based scholarships. Another thing, my viewers, you would really need to understand is you can apply here regular decision, early action, or early decision. That gives you tremendous amount of options. When you apply via the common application, don't forget to think about the early action option. You apply by the beginning of November, you will hear by January 1st, you will get your financial aid package, and you can apply to more than one school early action and then make your decision. 
you need to notify the school by May 1st so you have ample opportunity to, to visit all the schools that you've been accepted to. And that also gives you not only a chance to look at the school and tour it, but to review financial aid packages from all the schools you've been accepted to. Another interesting note about deciding to apply to Lewis and Clark, while they do ask for test scores, your SAT or ACT, you do have a test optional component. If you decide the testing is not your strength, you can go test optional and that is where you will send two samples of writing, one expository, one a math sample, and a few more letters of recommendation. You can apply here. They suggest, if you can, for an interview either on campus or regionally where you live, but that is also an option. So for students who are considering a school that is test optional, you really do need to look at Lewis and Clark. This has been a great tour. I've really enjoyed it. And while it's rainy and a little bit cold, I'm still having fun here on Lewis and Clark. So give me a call, Kathleen. Let me help you take the stress out of your application process and certainly your college search process.